Hey y'all, Rick Fearless, Fearless, Stroker's Dallas, Stroker's Ice House, Punchwally Garage, Fearless Services. Good morning. How you doing all right? Today is Thursday, October 24th, 2024, year of our Lord. Season number two, episode number 298. Let's go. In my life, the 366 Project, coming to you almost live from almost downtown Dallas in a powerful CHUMP studio. In today's show, we will talk about DUI, we will talk about a car wreck, we will talk about a new job and a new beginning. Let's go. Today's show is brought to you by Reliable Diamond Tool. That's ReadyTo.com. R-E-D-I-T-O-O.com. Check them out. Also brought to you by Simpson Motorcycle Helmets. If you got a $100 head and you don't, then wear a $100 helmet and you shouldn't. But if your head is priceless like mine, you don't want to crack that egg. Which is why I wear a Simpson. They are the best. We are a dealer, StrokersDallasMerch.com. We are also a dealer for Extreme Charge, the best battery maintenance charger on the planet. I got 50 of these going right now. Everything I got's got a hot battery in it. I don't care if it sets for a year. If it's plugged into that, it's ready to go. And that's the biggest problem when a vehicle sets is the batteries, right? See me, strokersdallasmerch.com. And they even have a, a quad link. So you plug that one into a quad link and it goes to four. Different leads, leads, you know, one lead can go five feet, the other one can go 25 feet. Today, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine goes back to 1976. In 1976, Little Rick Fairless wrecked his truck, got a DUI, and I was feeling pretty low. I was 19. I didn't know what I was going to do with myself. My brother had gone off into the Army. And I was still floundering around here in Irving, Texas. I, I didn't have a course of action. My great aunt and uncle that owned Roach Paint Company, Mr. and Mrs. T.R. Rogers. Uh, Mrs. Rogers, we called her Kenny. Kenny called me and said, hey, I want to come get you. We're going to go get you uh, some clothes so you can find a job. I said, yes, ma'am. Back then, you wore a nice suit of clothes to go job hunting. So she bought me some slacks and some button-up. Speaking of button-up shirts, how about this flannel? So this is one of those five colors I was telling you about with my logo on it. Button snaps. StrokersDallasMerch.com You know you're getting cold where you're at. Check them out. And she bought me a suit. Took me to get a haircut. Then she said, let's go have lunch with Sarge. Sarge is her husband, my great uncle. He owns Roach Paint Company. So we went up there. Sarge uh, balled me out for getting a DUI and losing my job. And said, why don't you come to work for Roach Paint Company? We've, we've talked about it for years. Why don't you come to work? And I said, yes, sir. And he said, how you going to get here? It was downtown Dallas. He said, how you going to get here? You wrecked your truck. I said, well, I got a motorcycle that runs about half the time. He pitched me the keys to an old Impala, and he said, this is a retired company car. Drive it. Yes, sir. Don't be late. People aren't going to like you because you're my nephew. You're going to have to work your butt off. I said, yes, sir, I won't let you down. And that changed my life. 
that made that gave me a purpose that gave me hope that I could do something wound up working there 20 years and one month I ran the number one store in the country ran the number one sales rep in the country and that DUI is what put me down that road I guess at 19 I decided that was the end of that I got to straighten up I want some money in my pockets I want to be somebody I want a Harley I want a pickup truck I want to own my own house you got to get it together boy you're 19 years old your brother's done run off and left you and I did I got it together Thank you for the opportunity to Sarge and Kenny, Mr. and Mrs. T.R. Rogers. They springboarded me to where I'm at now. That and a good work ethic. Okay, let's check that chuck. Check that chuck, you big old. Woo, you got some camo green chucks. High top. Green and white logo. White toe, white sole. No racing straps. Two bin hose. Green and white laces, one eye down, double knotted for safety. These are, say it with me, y'all, these are some handsome chucks. Let's look around the office. So there's some Dallas Mavericks bobbleheads from when my pop and I used to have season tickets. You got Brad Davis, Rolando Blackman, Mark Aguirre, uh, Harper, Donaldson. We used to love to go to the Mavericks games. There's 41, I think, home games. When we used to go to, we used to go to half of them, drink a beer. Not so much that I get a DUI. What about that shirt? Do you dig it? Do you dig these flannels? I'm telling you, they're they're really good. They got my big logo on the inside neck, and in a real discreet Strokers Dallas right here. Check Grandma's calendar. What was my grandma doing 75 years ago today on October 24th, 1949? It was a Monday. Grandma wrote, it's pretty cold today. I moved the furniture around. Sean and Roy came out tonight and we played cards on a Monday. So you got company and you're playing cards on a Monday? I guess when you're farmers, you do what you want to do. When you want to do it. Dad joke, I hate it when they say age is just a number. Clearly, it's a word, not a number. Age. Get off the couch, motivational minute. Attitude is a little thing that can make a big difference. And I think when I got that DUI, my attitude changed. My attitude changed when Sarge said, you come work for me, boy, but you're going to have to shine. You're going to have to be somebody. You're going to have to outwork them other guys. I developed an attitude of, I can't let these people down. This is my great aunt and uncle. They love me and I love them. I got to, I got to, I got to shine. And I shone like a, like a beacon in the night. I made them proud, made my grandma proud, made my mom proud. I just wish they were still around to see me now. But they, I think they do. I believe in, you know, they can see what's going on. They're following me. All right, Rick Fearless Fearless, I got to go. I got a lot of uh, Thursday things to do. StrokersDallasMerch.com Love you, Alice.